Looks like we have two new faces in our midst. Oh, let me introduce you. These two are Executor and Shirley from District 9. This is... Hello, I'm Tian Long. Hey, Lyra, why don't you come and say hi? Greetings, I'm Lyra. Tian Long is District 7's High Executor and is dispatched on a mission. Ms. Lyra is the current president of the Maidelin Foundation, as well as Archon Larson's special consultant. I'm sorry that my work required me elsewhere. No, everything happened because of me. Sorry for taking up all your time. Now that we're all here, let's get started. Archon Larson. I believe everyone here already knows about what happened a few days ago at the Listener Conference. Despite how the puppet singer was destroyed, and the artificial Christomax was relocated, it has a significant effect on things. Many have started questioning whether or not Miroria's defense systems are able to withstand gray space entity attacks. These concerns are understandable since gray space entity attacks have never happened inside Miroria. If we cannot guarantee our denizens' safety, it stands to reason that we will lose their trust. Captain Saki Fuwa has doubled the patrols in Mororia, and Lyra will be assisting in upgrading the city's current surveillance systems. However, these are but contingencies and responses to an emergency incident. We need to prevent similar situations from taking place in the future. Lin, Captain Saki Fuwa should have already relayed the results of the investigation to you. Would you please explain why you concealed the fact that the puppet singer could communicate with you? And what exactly did it say to you? Now that the Security Special Forces reports are out, there's nothing more I could say other than... I'm sorry, Archon Larson. I concealed it not because I have an agenda or harbor ill will. There are just some things that I feel are not... ready for the public eye. Forgive me for being frank, Miss Lin. This thing has profound influences. If we can't work together and solve this crisis together, I'm afraid... Archon Larson, please let me handle the follow-up to this incident. I promise I'll present a satisfactory answer to everyone. I'll just... need some... Security alert. All non-combatants, please proceed to the nearest safe zone. Ruby... Archon Larson, please give the order to lock down all exits immediately. You have your orders, Captain Sakifua. Don't worry about me. Captain, that artificial Christomax suddenly went out of control. We're sending machine guards to suppress it. That artificial Christomax again. What's going on with it? Look, the storage vessel for the artificial Christomax is completely shattered. What happened here? The machine guards couldn't stop it. We have to find Ruby. The wreckage went through the room ahead. Captain Saki Fua. Archon Larsen. Take Ruby to the infirmary. 
and keep her safe. Uh, yes, sir. Lynn, I need an explanation from you. The artificial Christomax has caused many security incidents. I hope now you can see how this thing doesn't just affect you and Ruby, but all of us. Archon Larson, I will give you all the information I have, but... I have a request. You can give me your demands, but I can't promise anything. I need you to give me your word that you'll assure Ruby's safety after hearing what I have to say. Ruby is not really a human. She's the result of an experiment trying to fuse humans and Grayspace entities. What? Ruby... She's... An artificial Grayspace entity. Just like what Dr. Clive did. To a certain extent, yes. Ruby and the artificial Grayspace entity in the listener testing ground are the same. That artificial Christomax may be attracted to Ruby. Do you remember who Rubilia is, Archon Larson? Dr. Rubilia, the first supervisor of Project Listener. That kid is a true genius. If it weren't for the accident, she could have achieved much and given much to Mororia. An accident? Two years ago, in a routine collection mission on the surface, Rubilia went missing in a Grayspace Entity attack. Her project was then handed off to Dr. Clive, who used to be her assistant. Wait, what happened to Dr. Rubilia took place two years ago? And that's also when Ruby appeared in Meroria. Ruby? Rubilia? Rubilia used her own genetic code to fuse with the Grayspace Entity in the experiment. That's how Ruby was born. Using human DNA with that of the Grayspace Entity is directly forbidden by Archon Harunobu. What Dr. Rubilia did was... madness! Since her father died, Rubilia's been running those forbidden experiments in her secret lab. I only learned of it when I found her journal by accident. I put a stop to her experiments and sealed off the lab. Out of many concerns, I didn't make it public. Instead, I exiled Rubilia out of Mororia. You mean she didn't go missing because of the Grayspace Entity attack, but it was by your orders? Yes. I... I only wanted this thing to go away at the time. Rubilia's experiments were too extreme. I didn't know what would happen if they went public, so I leveraged my position to conceal it all. If Rubilia really did create a superior abyssin with human intelligence and in human form, but outside of human control, it would be a great disaster for all mankind. Lin, how many like Ruby are out there? Are there any in this city that remain undiscovered? Archon Larson, Ruby is the only test subject left alive. She possesses a human mind. I can assure you that she'll not lose control and become a monster and threaten the safety of everyone. Even if you can prove that Ruby doesn't pose a threat, there's been no change in her situation after she absorbed that artificial Christomax. We cannot be certain if she'll be affected or controlled by the Christomax. Lynn, Executor, and Shirley, please stay here. I'll decide the next course of action after they run a full checkup on Ruby. Larson. I only wish for Ruby to be treated as a human, not a monster locked up in a cage and studied in a lab. I have my own thoughts on this, but I can assure you that Ruby will be safe. Captain Sakifua, with me. Yes. Ruby is still in a coma. We did a full examination on her, but due to her unique physical conditions, we cannot assess her status using normal human standards. Dr. Clive is assessing Ruby's situation. 
But he informed us that it might be difficult to do so with our current technology, since she's the first human hybrid. Lynn, there must be some research data left behind in Rubilia's lab, right? Yes. Even though I sealed off the lab, I did not destroy the research data. I planned on revealing the whole thing once Project Listener made some progress. We're facing a problem, and the redacted data may hold the key to solving it. We cannot wait any longer. Only you know the location of the lab, Lin. I will need you to take a team and retrieve the research data. Yes, sir. I'll send someone to go with you. The safety of Mororia hangs in the balance, and we cannot afford another accident. Archon Larson has told me all about it. Ms. Lin, it seems like you've kept quite a number of things from us. Tian Long? Miss Lyra? Lin, long time no see. Miss Lyra will remain in Mororia to assist us with this investigation. Tian Long will go with you to the restricted experiment zone. Lin, do not disappoint us again. <laughs> oh, you got Archon Larson so mad? If you have time to chit-chat, why don't you contribute to planning our next move? Huh. Looks like we're the ones tasked with the special op. Captain Lin, what dangerous mission will we be going on this time? Why so serious? We're just investigating an abandoned lab, aren't we? Huh? Archon Larson recalled me for an emergency situation, and it turned out to be such a simple mission? Your mission is not just to assist with the investigation, but to keep an eye on me. I am now in your charge. Ms. Lin, that's not a nice thing to say. I'm only here to help you complete the mission, and that's all. Ms. Lin, what do we have to know about that lab? There are no security systems installed in the lab but it holds a great number of Grayspace Entity samples. The samples should either be in stasis or deceased, but we really don't have enough information. Stay vigilant. I have relayed the lab coordinates to you. Make sure you've received them. If there are no further questions, let's head out.
This is the entrance to the lab. Well, this is a secluded place. I'm impressed that Rubilia could find it. Before Rubilia repurposed it into her lab, it used to be an abandoned factory. I'll take you straight to the testing labs. Stay close, and don't wander off. The lab's primary power has been cut. We'll need to restore the lighting first. The power control console is right over there. This was used as a showroom for data on Phase 1 of Project Listener. Even though the information is already public, you can still take a look around, if you want. How many things did Rubilia hide in here? The entire Project Listener Phase 1 research is here. We're only seeing a small part of it. Better be careful. It's not over yet. Lin, you didn't say the gray space entities may still be active here. Maybe a test subject got free. Stay on your toes, and prepare for any surprise attack from Grey Space Entities. The lower labs are right up ahead. Follow me. Gives me the chance. 
shells. The gray space entities in stasis were key subjects used for Rubilia's research. We may be able to find some clues that I missed previously. research samples here. The key research data is kept in Rubilia's quarters. Follow me. That small room ahead is Rubilia's living quarters. Is Dr. Rubilia living there all by herself? N no way. There's no way we can get through so many gray space entities. She's no mad scientist. There were just things that she <sighs> had to do. Let's head inside. Maybe we'll find some useful information. go. I just don't like standing still. go. I just don't like standing still. I tell Archon Larson if I were to go back empty handed. What is this? Features do not match. Verification failed. Move out of the way. Features do not match. Verification failed. Retrieving alternative data. Features match. Identity verified. Oh. 
Lin, Rubilia left this lockbox for you, didn't she? We all saw it. Rubilia has never mentioned anything about it to me. This lockbox... It's really well hidden. Wonder what's in there. <laughs> now I'm curious. I'm not sure what's inside. The internal workings of this lockbox are extremely intricate. Opening it by force will likely damage the content inside. We better take the lockbox back to Miroria first, and see what Archon Larson wants to do with it. Fine. You keep the lockbox safe, Tianlong. This may be the most valuable find in this investigation of ours. Fine, fine. At least it's something to tell Archon Larson.
really don't want to stay here a second longer than I have to. The facilities have not been maintained for a long time. Other test subjects may have gotten free as well. We should hurry.
Please look forward to my performance. Do you need my help? Medical unit is ready. Let me take care of it. Zaki? How's Ruby? There is no sign of her waking up yet, but all the numbers show her to be in a stable condition, with no fluctuations. Lynn, did you get what you need? We've found a lockbox left behind by Rubilia. We are just about to give Archon Larson a report. Archon Larson is still awaiting updates at Cloudtop. Go. I'll stand guard here. I'll notify you as soon as there's any news on Ruby. Thanks, Saki. Let's go. Lin, is there nothing else you can do with the lockbox Rubilia left behind? I'm sorry, Archon Larson. Rubilia never said anything about a lockbox to me. It was Tian Long who found the hidden compartment inside by accident. <sighs> It'll all be for nothing if we can't find any clues to open this lockbox. Archon Larson, this lockbox's model was widely used in the Maidalin Foundation. Maybe I can attempt to decode it without corrupting the data inside. Miss Lyra, how confident are you? Don't worry, Archon Larson. I'll immediately stop whatever I'm doing if something goes wrong, to ensure the data inside remains intact. Miss Lin? Please.
doesn't seem to have been fully deciphered. We went through everything for this? Miss Lin, the data inside the lockbox is incomplete. I cannot decode anything more from it. Only a blurry video clip? Miss Lyra, could some data be corrupted during the decoding process? No, I assure you, there's nothing I did that would have compromised the data inside. What we saw was the entirety of the data. Why did Dr. Rubilia leave a piece of meaningless info in a hidden compartment? Tian Long, did you find anything else noteworthy on site? Unless... There are more hidden compartments, but Rupilia doesn't seem like a person who'd bother with it. Right, Lin? Sorry, but I don't have anything for you at the moment, Archon Larson. Please excuse me. I'll need some time to think. We'll call it a day for now. Dr. Clive, you and your team have to decipher and learn what you can from the data retrieved by Lin and Tian Long ASAP. Yes, sir. As for the lockbox, I'll ask our technicians to restore the data and hope for the best. Lynn left alone just now with a solemn face. I didn't dare to call her. Is she in some kind of trouble? Miss Lyra unlocked the lockbox, and we found a recording left behind by Dr. Rebellion there. It's blurry and, unfortunately, it doesn't shed light on anything. Despite that, we found some lab data on Ruby, but what's in the lockbox must be crucial. That's probably why Lynn is in a bind right now. Is that so? Then one must have gone to... That place... That... Place? Lynn would sometimes stand on the balcony of the Oasis to think. After Ruby came, she often took Ruby there too. Ruby always said it's her secret base. After everything that has happened, I'm worried about her, but... I have to stay here to watch over Ruby. Can you please check on her for me? Well, let's go see Miss Lin for a bit. Even if we can't comfort her, at least we can let her know that we're all there for her.
I just wanted to be alone for a while. Sorry for worrying you. How did you find this place? Captain Sakifua told us. It has a nice view, and it's quiet, unlike in the city. Did Ruby draw all those things? Uh, it's our little secret base. Ruby loves it here. Is that Dolly and Spark? They were best friends. They wouldn't even let me in on their secrets. So Dolly and Spark must know a lot of Ruby's secrets. Secrets. Spark. Spark. How come it only occurs to me now? It's long been left with me. I'll keep Ruby safe. And I'll find you. Just you wait. <laughs> 